welcome back to my channel and then this is day three of our land rabbit okay but this is a difference from what we've learned initially and what it's gonna be now like this is like the beginning of a pro stage from here you're gonna be a pro like you're gonna just have to do things better than that before it was just showing you what is what now like first of all we got this architectural bar like i said there's no need for you to learn it at start and then you're gonna learn it now okay and then there's a structural bar and then there's all this that you see on the screen but first of all here's what you're gonna do what are you gonna do first we're gonna create uh we're gonna create what we call template but this time around we're gonna create a template in a way that's much more professional like uh, okay let's call this the floor plan first that's where i like to start my i like to start my let's call this a floor plan uh, if it's a single story i call it a floor plan right uh, and then i like it to be at let's see 400 maybe but if you look at this these are too big if you look at all this so okay i like to do this and we'll, we'll, we'll get to that let's just do this one first and then call this the roof is a level that the roof will be um what it you from here you can add another one for the windows it can help you a lot with windows so to make this much more cooler you're just gonna put it like that so i like to have my windows at 21 like that yeah why i put this i change the scale to 1 is to 50 so that this could be little bit much color visible i mean if i change it in 2000 to look what happens just know how the scales work if you don't yeah you can just see that so we're gonna use 50 for now but sooner or later i'm gonna edit this and then i'll show you how you do it okay and then we're gonna add another level the level that i'm adding here okay cancel this i like it fully right from here okay this one is for ground level right and then i'm gonna add another one which is for the foundation i don't know if some of you add this but i add that okay this is ground level ground level for me i like it to be at zero why because of uh, this ngl national ground level why because of i uh, I think it's perfect that at that point at the zero so the ground is zero then moving up I mean your house will start at zero going up if you put the floor plan the floor plan the floor at zero so then means you're gonna have much problem so uh, let's just go minus 700 oh by the way I'm using millis if you're gonna change uh, your house you just press UN then you get all this you change whatever you like i like me list that's what i use by the way i'm in south africa so on my side it's actually okay to do that uh and then this should be windows yes yeah floor plan oh, level five and uh, this should be the foundation all right okay that's it. If you check, um, if you look at your, 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 your family is right here. This is what is being preloaded. Like you can check even the doors and stuff. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to load families now. Unlike before where we just did stuff. So uh, let's go to floor plan. Okay. What I do on the floor plan first is I create a... I create a floor so I create the floor and leave it like this something of this nature uh, why I create a floor is because of 
when you start working you don't need to be busy drawing and then maybe you have a finisher that you want to put or something that needs to be attached to your flow and then you have to to skip it because of that then you create the flow afterwards so that's just another problem for me i don't like that okay but the flow you see how where this flow is you double click this and then let's just call this uh flow one right and then edit i like my flow to be 185 okay. Uh, and then you click here and then you check the material <coughs> here's the thing with material material so you're gonna have the concrete and all those stuff that you can have you can have all of them as professional as they can be or you can just have one just for for, for rendering purposes only or whatever way so <coughs> but when you have one you need to know that um, when when you're creating a detail uh, section or something, you're gonna have a problem because of that means other materials are gonna be moved. You're just gonna have one, so you have to draw all of them, use the field regions. We're gonna reach that part later on, uh, but uh, you need to know that. Uh, and then name this. Uh, oh, by the way, I name my things by the code of. Of my company that I use, so this is PA5. Um, PA5, let's just say, what is this? This is flow, okay. Let's just call this tile flow tile. I call this flow tile. Oh, damn, what did I do? Um, the name, yeah, sorry, call that flow tile like that. Then, look, uh, in my country, the curtain must be green because of this is going to present a concrete, right? So, you can, yeah, it's like the concrete, wherever it is, where is it? Oh, yeah, it is. But I don't prefer this. I like my things to be visible. I usually use a solid one. So, the surface pattern, I don't use that. So, I just use that. You can put one. Like, like say the surface on top is gonna be tile. You can just find something that looks like a cool tile that you want. Yeah, you have all this to play around with. Um, and then now, yeah, you come here, you check what you want the finish to be on top. For me, this is going to be tile. So, there's this tile that I like here yeah, that looks a bit, um. It's cool. Uh, okay. Just like that. Uh, by the way. So by the way, devil 3D. If you can look, this is how this Maya thing look. Photorealistic. You can see this is how I put. Okay. And then from here, what you're gonna you done with is see the flow. This is just the flow that we're gonna have for now. You can create many flows as you want, but for me, this is enough. Um, from here, you can go. We're gonna add families now. This is this is where I got families. I got a lot of them, so I'm just gonna add like the ones that I'm gonna use, like for the project that we're gonna make. We're gonna make professional projects from here, not the one that we had at first. Um, okay. Let me look up oh, in the folder. I'll start with Windows. I'll name one AGI. Um, 
plastic or tail is just there. Uh, no, this is not cool. Mm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Which one can I start with? Ah, I like this one. Where is the rest? Stop right there. I don't know if I'm gonna need, but if we need some during while you're doing the project, we'll come and take them from here. So, from there, um, what you're gonna need now is your materials. There's a reason why you're gonna need materials it's for rendering purposes. For example, look at the floor tile first. You can create all sorts of materials that you're going to need. Mainly you're going to need your walls. So you can just press W, A like we did at first. And then you create all couple of walls that you need. And uh, just double K, double K this one. And then, okay, let's just, let's just try it. Uh, this is a mixed brick. Oh, it's not a full different Mixed brick wall. But it's with plaster, so not much so don't worry much about that so this plaster maybe it's 150 thickness and then you get here you see you can just uh, create a new one by the way and then the name to be PA5 okay wall one I'll tell you why I name it like this wall one uh, the reason why I named them like that is because you see this is wall one 
I'm gonna have all two wall three. So these are just all materials for wall one. Why I use wall one, I know it is that and this and that. So you're gonna see that when we're trying to render, because I use V-Ray for rendering, so I'll use that at the end of this project. Um, okay, I'd like to be solid as well. You can add something for texture. I don't like to do that. Um, and then here I like circle, uh, beige. Yeah, I think it looks a bit cool for me. Yes, and then we can while we're still here, you can just uh, create a new material. Maybe let's create. I don't know what can I create. Uh, let's just create wall too. So with wall two, we're just gonna put um page now. Let's now let's go dark gray. Let's go dark gray. I like to mix the two. If I'm rendering using um the Revit Cloud, I like to, to add the two. But this is where I want wall one. We're gonna create wall two. So it's gonna be like that. Uh, we can create wall two while we're busy. So let's say for the roof, uh, whatever project we're gonna do next. If you're gonna use tiles, so if you're gonna use tiles, what I do is I have a video for how I put tiles there somewhere in here. This somewhere where I've put all the materials that I use, so I just load them in. Usually in my in my work they're already loaded, so I think some yeah I think it's this one. I think this is one of them. I'm not sure because I created all this from scratch. I remember I created all this from scratch. Okay, let's just load this tile. Project one, create this. 